Welcome back to Titan Quest Let's Play, and in this episode we're gonna be getting this guy's necklace. But first, I'll show that I went to healers to buy some more health potions as I was running out last time. And uh, if you didn't know, you can portal back um, to any town by use pressing L, and this mini portal will come out. And you can uh, go whenever you need to restock on stuff. Right, so we're gonna go into this cave right here on the right, pretty much here. That's where we'll find this necklace that was stolen from the guy and here you see experience shrine this shrine will uh, increase the amount of ex experience you get by 50% if I remember right and we also found some new enemies here and uh, here I've uh, decided to replace the spear simply because this one deals more piercing damage so just extra, some extra damage but yeah we found uh, these new enemies here they're called something like Uranimus I'm not sure how to pronounce it properly, but uh, it's a creature from Greek myths that uh, pretty much feeds on the dead, like a scavenger, sort of. Uh, why they go after the necklace, w I have no idea really why they're stealing necklaces from people, but maybe they just like shiny stuff, you know, like, my precious, like that kind of, just go, just go on the eye for that sort of thing. And uh, if you notice, we've just leveled up, so we're gonna assign some more skill points. Right, and here, I've actually decided to uh, go for Heart of Frost with one point in that, because it, it can uh, slow down uh, the enemies when you attack them. And I also put some more in the tree, the storm tree itself. And also, here, attributes. I thought I'd go both for strength, simply because we're really need strength right now if we're going to be fighting melee all the time. And also want to show some gear, we, we can now use this mace that we got from the big fat satyr in the previous episode. And we can also use his armor. This one. See, it's much better than the one we're wearing right now. As it gives us some good bonuses. And also this shield which gives some offensive ability. I thought I would put that instead of our current one. So we've got quite a bit of... Uh, gear rearrangement here after this level up and now we're gonna fight the, the little mini boss here the one who stole the necklace if you see how much damage we're dealing now because this club is really good and it's also got life leech so we're actually healing a little bit from killing the enemies although life leech is not instantaneous heal though life leech is, is a, a heal over time so it's good, but it's not as amazing as percent of attack damage converted to health. That's a much better stat, because that's instantaneous. Oh well, yeah, so we're gonna return to the guy. We're gonna clear out some more enemies here in these corners. And I'll, I'll speed it up. And uh, we're gonna come back to the guy here. Hey man, we found this necklace. Is this yours? Whoa! Oh, the necklace! The guy is happy to see it! Whoa! He he was really happy to see us. And he gave us Essence of Heracles' Might. Which we'll save up for another piece of armor. And uh, we're gonna continue. Continue to fight some more satyrs. But yeah, if you actually... Uh, uh, I mean, I'll try to give some information on uh, various mythical creatures here from from the game but uh, of course my knowledge of them is kind of limited so if you know something that I don't mention in the video please feel free to comment I'll be actually interested to hear any more information on these uh, mythical creatures because I really love ancient Greece alright so we're gonna now explore the second half of this uh, huge area there's uh, still some more enemies left around here And now we're gonna go here, there's another camp full of satyrs. And there's a mastery shrine. Mastery shrine increases each of your skills by plus four. But only for the duration of the, of the, of the effect, so, which is about one minute. Uh, if you actually reapply the enchantment as well. Although with enchantments, it, it will only last... The improved... Dura will only impress for the duration of the mastery shrine. But with stuff like pets... With pets, you should definitely resummon them, because once you resummon a pet under the effect of Mastery Shrine, they will stay at an improved, um, you know, summoning with plus four. 
even after the mastery shrine effect wears off. So you sh you have you should always resummon your pets once you tag a mastery shrine. All right, so we're gonna loot all the stuff, make sure if we got everything here, and then we're gonna continue. And we've almost cleared up this whole area. Just very little left. And uh, here's the bridge on the left that will take us further. But first, we wanna look for a recon on this guy. Yeah. This guy just gives us a bit of information, like says, like, yeah, you, you're going the right way and all that stuff, you know. Just uh, kill a few more satyrs. Give us some more experience. Alright, and if you see, we've actually cleared everything out here on the map. So, you can check through the map if you've cleared every corner. And now we're gonna carry on. Carry on further. The Spartan Road. The Road to Sparta! Yeah! Alright. See, our new toy deals quite a fair bit of damage. Right, another shrine. Shrine of Thorns. Although that's a bit of a waste if we use it here with the undead because Shrine of Thorns gives bleeding retaliation and as I said already undead are resistant to bleeding so we're gonna go around here and utilize it on fleshy enemies as you can see they they all starting to bleed to death there we go they've all, they've all bled to death so just keep that in mind I have noticed that Shrine of Thorns appears quite a lot near the undead areas, which makes it completely useless. Alright, so we're gonna loot around here. Before, But before we go further to the Spartan War Camp, we're gonna go on the right here because that's uh, some ancient ruins full of undead. And we're gonna tackle them in the next episode. So, bye then.